What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the full Assault Marine Armor set in the Far Harbor DLC, which is now the best possible armor in the game outside of Power Armor. In this video, I'll share the requirements, location, and modding options for this incredible armor set. It looks really, really cool, so I hope you guys are excited. But before we start, this guide will contain spoilers due to the nature of the requirements to unlock these pieces. So, if you haven't played any of Far Harbor and want to avoid getting spoiled, stop watching the video now. In order to reveal the locations for the full marine armor set, you must complete Far From Home, the first quest to enter Far Harbor. Obviously, that's the preliminary necessary thing you have to do no matter what. And then I believe you have to complete the final memory sequence in Best Left Forgotten. That is one of the main story missions where you have to go through memory sequences. You have to finish the final one in order to unlock the locations. Then it'll be under the miscellaneous tab in your quest log for the marine armor set locations. Now this isn't something I've tested myself, but I believe these are just available out in the world. I don't think you have to complete that quest in order to go and loot these items because they're just static out in the world. Unless these containers are locked until you complete this memory, then I think you can just go and get them. Don't hold me on that, but if you're not willing to go through the main story to get to that quest and unlock it in order to get these items, you may want to try that. The first location we're looking at is off the southeastern coast near the Grand Harbor Hotel location, and it's about 100 you know, meters. I don't know how they kind of measure that, but it's near the MS Azalea, south of that, and then due east of the Harbor Grand Hotel off the coast. So Obviously, this is off the coast. Obviously, Far Harbor is extremely irradiated, especially the water. So you will need to bring along a hazmat suit or some other form of extreme radiation resistance in order to survive this fairly long swim. This is the longest swim of all of them, and you'll just need to keep heading out towards the mast of this sunken ship. And once you get past that, you got a little bit further to go. But once you're near the objective, you can go ahead and head under. And pro tip, turn on your flashlight if you're having a trouble kind of, you know, locating this shipment, and you'll find both of the arms in this location. Our next shipment location is off the southwest coast near the Children of Adam Shrine. That's kind of the closest location if you've already been there. You can fast travel there and then of course head out to about 75 meters off the coast. Once you hit this area, you can go ahead, go under, and then it's inside this sunken submarine, or I guess not a submarine, it's just a normal ship. Again, flashlight will help you kind of find the box, the shipment there, and you'll find both of the legs in this container. The final shipment containing the most pieces is off the west coast near Rayburn Point. So I don't have that location unlocked, but you can kind of get over here really quickly. If you were at the last location, just go north a little bit, and then you'll find it again off the very far west coast of the map. This is about 60 meters out, and once again, we're swimming out here. And once you get really close, you can head underwater, and you'll find this giant orange container. Very, very hard to miss. And inside, you'll find the helmet, torso, an extra helmet, and also a wetsuit, which is kind of the under armor underneath all the armor that makes everything fit very well it's really cool now you've got the full marine armor set and this offers 157 ballistic and energy resistance and around 90 radiation resistance when you first get it of course it can be upgraded but when you compare this to heavy combat armor for example from the vanilla game that only gets you up to around 111 resistance i believe in both categories and no radiation resistance so this is clearly far and away the best armor outside of power armor available Unfortunately, it's really, really heavy. I mean, seriously, if you're on survival mode, it weighs around 100 pounds, just as much as the T60 power armor set, believe it or not. So really heavy, and fortunately, we do have some modding options that make that easier. At the Far Harbor Armor Workbench, that's clearly a mouthful, you'll find a few different options. There's not much wiggle room you can do with this armor. You can tell just by looking at the left arm. We've got a few different variations. We've got the Zealots and the Inquisitors version of the Marine Armor. We already have the Assault Marine version. That's what you're gonna find out in those containers. So the Zealots and Inquisitors versions of the Marine Armor offer the Children of Adam design on the outside. So it's the same armor that you'll find Grand Zealot Richter in, who's in the Nucleus, the Children of Adam guy. He's wearing one of those versions, we're not really sure which, but the normal Assault version is what we already looted. So the Assault version is the only version that does not have the Children of Adam inscription on it. So we also have the secondary mod slot, as you guys can see. These are the same options for most vanilla armor sets in the game, but I would highly recommend that you 
use ultra light because again this stuff is so heavy it cuts down the weight by like 200 percent it's ridiculous so that's definitely the best option for every single armor piece in my opinion also you get the increased ap bonus on every single piece that you use ultra light with so it's a really good idea only the chest and helmet pieces actually offer different resistances based on what mods you choose so for example the zealots offers the lowest resistances of any option so you probably don't want to use that if you are going for the children of adam inscription then i would definitely use inquisitors as it has the most but there's two assault marine armor options i don't know if this was on purpose it doesn't seem like it but the lower one has the lower of the resistances and then the upper one has the higher of the resistances and you will need rank four of armor and rank four of science so the thing is it doesn't really boost your resistances that much it only goes up to into the 160s total so you know it might be worth it if you're already up there but honestly it's probably not worth reaching up to just you know get a very small upgrade in the assault marine armor to get the very you know high top tier version it's really up to you guys but clearly the ultralight mod is very necessary on almost every single one of these pieces in my opinion especially if you are on survival mode there are other ways to obtain this armor if you don't want to go through the quest line then you can actually go ahead and buy different pieces from the different factions around the island i think there's four different pieces you can go out and buy and they do have unique modifiers they're called the recon set and so that's up to you guys but they are so extremely expensive it's ridiculous even if you have cap collector and max charisma they're very expensive in terms of caps like in the 10,000s. so you guys will have to kind of decide on that but you can clearly tell i just survived that car explosion that should have killed me this stuff is really powerful this is some great armor i'm really excited that they added some top tier armor into the game with this dlc i'd like to know after watching this video are you going to seek out the marine armor set i think it's a great idea perhaps a no-brainer because it is clearly the best armor in the game outside of power armor this is it and so going after this armor makes total sense let me know what you guys think about in the comment section below i really like the look of it it's really cool it's kind of a cross between you know power armor that we saw in previous games where you can just you know equip it it's not like you have to get inside of it and use a fusion core it reminds me of some kind of spec ops version of power armor maybe that's kind of the lore behind it not really sure but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all right guys today i showed you how to get the full assault marine armor set in far harbor and next time we will cover more fallout on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new or enjoy this video remember to hit that like button i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for far harbor dlc my far harbor playthrough, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!